Hi, and welcome to the Bruce Cizal Research Channel. Thank you so very much for the support, my amazing friends, and welcome to all new subscribers. The total lunar eclipse is a supermoon, and we're going to see the red moon. The eclipse of May 15th and 16th, it was a long eclipse, 2022. Total lunar eclipse. Uh, people in the Americas, uh, Europe, and Africa will see the total lunar eclipse during the night of yesterday, May 15th. Into the night of May 16th, obviously. Plus, on the night, the moon is close and a supermoon. Also close to its perigee. Also, as it's approaching its closest point from us to Earth. So the moon was very blurry. No, I wasn't able to film straight through and to do a time lapse, unfortunately. A um, couple of flybys. Uh, most of them were birds. And just this one object, not this one. This, this is slowed down. Actually, yes, it is that one. And it was very, very fast. I'm going to also show you what a bird looks like close up where we can see its wings flapping. It's always... Hard to tell whether it's a um, debris, a UFO, or whether it's just a bird. Well, we have to analyze the characteristics, and most of the time, it gives it away. And if not, well, it just remains. That's why I didn't mention any UFO in this video, even though I believe it's debris, out-of-control debris. You know why? Because of the speed. It's easy. But sadly, anybody can lie about it. I can fast forward the image, tell you that, hey, look, it went by like a bat out of hell way too fast and way too straight to be, you know, I could do that if I wanted to get so many UFOs every time, right? I mean, nobody in the world gets UFOs every day. I got a shitload of them, lucky as hell, like I was. So we're seeing the eclipse in different ways. I also filmed it in infrared for you. At the same time, I'll put the footage side by side to show you the difference where we can see all the stars with the infrared camera and we can see nothing uh, with the regular camera. What did I do here? I brought the exposure right down. This is a P900. Those of you who have P900s, it sucks for the color. The moon is always brown unless the sun is close or you get the aperture, the lighting just right. You can change it, of course. But here, you know, it's not the regular color. You know why? Well, because of the the eclipse. Obviously, we can see more of uh, the colors in Mare Serenitatis. Uh, sorry, in um, uh, where the Apollo 11 uh, Mare Imbrium. We can see, oh, look at the, the sun as we speed it up here. Didn't want to make it too long for you all. You can see the changing of the sun there. Watch the yellow, watch the yellow. See, it wasn't long, eh? It flashed really bright, bright yellow. Obviously, the sun, right, is changing the way we, we're viewing the moon. And you're going to see a flyby here if you didn't already see it um, in the bottom. And now I'm fast forwarded. I already slowed it down. It's just a bird. You'll see three or four other flybys I didn't mention. They're birds. I checked them out. Um, the one that I showed at the beginning was interesting. Didn't look like a bird, but still, no proof. I just showed it just shared it. Here's again, another part. So I was going through these episodes where there was clouds, no clouds, clouds, no clouds. Here's an easy to see bird wing. Watch up and down. There's the down, there's the up, there's the down. Slowing things down is the secret to everything. You see absolutely everything. There is a dot appearing. Something went by really fast but slowing it down I didn't get a nice enough image of it so I didn't even bother but it's too fast to be a bird definitely too fast to be a bird
sorry, Al, this is the best scale I could get. I wanted to see from like step one, like literally the line going across, but there was clouds. Let's see the infrared camera that's filming at the same time and have both comparisons up. How are we doing on this side? Yeah. Are we in focus? I think so. Oh, it's even better. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there's a nice moon with stars. <laughs> During the ellipse. So look at all that we can see with the infrared at the same time as the camera sees absolutely nothing on the right side. The moon is still there, got the sun reflecting and Earth's um, supposed shadow off the, of the moon. It's always very interesting uh, taking a look at uh, both of them at the same time. You see everything that we can see with the infrared and there's things that our eyes can't see and that's what the infrared picks up. That is what I kept getting between moons. A very, uh, an incredible haze of fog. It was really dense. The moon was hiding behind always that bloody cloud that forms around it because I believe it's deliberate. Around the sun, that's where they form. Around the moon, always clouds. Once you start filming it really often, you can see the truth. I got it up, a short video, because I wanted you all to see uh, the eclipse. Cause disclosure's coming soon.